Next guest usually comes to, to perform with her husband. Today she is here to talk about a new historical novel that she's written. We welcome Rhonda Rucker. Thank you so, so much for being back on our couch. Oh, thank you. I know we were just talking about uh, you've got two books that you've done before this latest right. work. Uh, uh -huh. One was a children's book, but this uh -huh. is uh, your third historic That's novel? That's my third. Okay. This, well, it's my third um, book. Okay. It's, yeah, uh, second historical novel, but yeah, it's called Welcome to Bombingham, and uh, it's uh, based in Birmingham, Alabama in 1963, mm -hmm. uh, but it's not about the famous bombing that killed the four little children. Uh, this takes place a little earlier in the year, and uh, there were about 50 unsolved racially motivated bombings in Birmingham between World War II and 1963 when this takes place. So many that African Americans started calling the place Bombingham. Wow. Yeah. So it, um, and the main character is a 17-year-old boy whose uh, own house is bombed, his mother is killed. Mm -hmm. um, he is angry, he wants revenge, but the story is about uh, his transformation, mm -hmm. his, uh, you know, how he changes and his spiritual journey, really. So, um, you know, and, and, and it ends up being a message of hope. Yeah. So, but, um, you know, it was hard for people like him to grow up in that city. I mean, it was just such a, a segregated, it was the most segregated city of the South. Mm -hmm. And um, so, and they were trying to get King to come in and change the place to help um, with that, but he was reluctant. He finally did. They had a big campaign planned and he kept trying to get adults out there to march. And they were reluctant. And the reason is they were, um, they, they were scared yeah. because they were threatened. Their jobs, their, their work, um, their car notes, you know, all those kinds of things they were holding over them. So one guy, James Bevel, he was kind of a firebrand, he had the idea to get the kids involved. And they did. And they used the social media of the day, which is this, the radio DJs. Yeah. And they got the word out. And so they, you know, had this uh, day that everybody was supposed to show up and the kids did and they, they just flocked to the church and poured out of the doors and filled the streets, ended up filling the jails, which was the whole point, you know, to try to bring those big wigs to their knees. Yeah. And, you know, and this, this was the day also when um, Bull Connor was riding around in his tank in the town, you know, it was almost like a police state. And so it was scary. But the next day, I mean, the first day he was a little confused about, by all this. The second day was when they brought out the fire, um, fire hoses and mm. the police dogs yeah. and turned those on the kids. Mm. Yeah, and those pictures and, are right. just incredible. Just Where can, uh, quickly, I apologize, because uh -huh. we're running out of time a little bit. Where can folks get your book? Well, we're gonna play at the Laurel Theater on Saturday. And uh, so we'll have copies uh, at 8 o'clock okay. then. And um, we sell them on our website, sparkyandronda.com. Okay. And then we also, um, you know, the usual suspects, uh, Amazon, <laughs> Amazon and okay. Barnes and Noble. And well, that's well, great. Uh, what a, yeah. a great piece of yeah. work. Thank you so much, Rhonda, for Thank coming you. on. We appreciate you, you sharing this with us.